Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living in the Whole Life. Friday. And you can read through Dr. Susan Lawton's um, book, Positive Peaceful Growth Counseling. things and and people don't respond positively what I don't want us to do is I don't want us to take it personally right um because ever, all of us are human and not all of us always um respond the best way we would want to respond for help and we don't people Um, fitness, wellness, fitness coach, fitness coach or wellness coach. Not everyone that we ask for help from is going to be the perfect match or a good match. That's okay. They might be. and and um, doing our due diligence and and prayer we can go on and ask for help and keep asking for help until we found the help help is that we need
they still might not be the best match for us and they still might not be given the help we need. So I'm sorry that I didn't um, say it before. If I would have thought about it before, I would have said it. But at least now we know. You know what? If, if we ask for help and they're not our match, it's okay. It's okay. We can um, thank him um, for listening to us, right? And, and move on to get the help that we do need. Anyway, so I am good. And I'm changing that a little bit. The affirmation that they had in the book is I'm good at asking for help. I'm just going to change that to um, I'm good at asking for help the things that, that I need. Okay. The affirmation for today is, and I'm going to tweak this again, but first I'll read you the affirmation and I'm going to tweak it. Um, I am moving forward with my new education and enthusiasm. And, and um, I think, I like, I am moving forward with my wisdom and um, enthusiasm. I like education too, but I don't think it has to PG. I again, aren't Italian words just kind of fun to say? Atovina res PG. Anyway, um, and and I love that. It's a very very meditative song. So as we're thinking about what do we want to move forward to, and and how do we want to move forward, right? Um, I think it's a perfect pairing for this affirmation. Okay. Um, yesterday, I just, I forgot to say something about yesterday's affirmation and I wish I could go back and include it. I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to do a sh quick shout out. So, and there were, there were a few things that I forgot to say. I sometimes write notes to myself on what I want to say and I forgot to write to why well, my notes were right there but I forgot to pick them up so I just wanted to say a few other things about being fully person who is a brain surgeon and he struggled with so many things, struggled with learning, um, anyway, with so many things when he was young. And the story is about, and so did his mom. His mom struggled with so many things too, um, as she was raising the boys as a single mom. And um, the story goes on to show how, um, how they overcame their struggles. And to me, that, that we are all capable of um, overcoming our struggles, right? And so if you want to give maybe to um, um, watch that shows you how capable we all are, it's an amazing movie to watch. So can't recommend that highly enough. And then I just wanted to um, talk to you about 
changing the way we talk um, about things that happen in our lives. And um, so I read a book once. It was called SOS for um, Emotions or something like that. I don't even know. Anyway, but um, one of the tips that I got out of this book was that um, how we talk to ourselves You've had a fight with one of your children, right? Or a fight with a coworker or a fight with a spouse. It doesn't even really matter. And you leave the the um you leave the can't stand it. Or you know, that whatever happened, or I can't handle this. Now, when we tell ourselves that we can't stand something or that we can't hand, handle something, then um, it changes our brain and it makes whatever is happening be um, become bigger, bigger problems in our minds. And that it makes us in our minds become less. I can't stand this. I can't handle this. It makes us become less. And um, it really affects on how well we can handle the different problems and different things that come up into our life. Now, if we change our um, our thinking and the way we say things to, this is tough, but I am fully capable of handling this. Or, this is not what I would choose, but I am fully capable of handling this. This is not what I want, but I am fully fully capable of handling this. Do you see how that just totally changes the dynamics? Like it it shows that yeah, this is not something I want or what I would choose or this is a tough thing that I'm going through now, but what does it do to us? It brings us up, it raises us up. It tells us and our minds that we are fully capable of handling things. You know, if you want to tweak that to say with God, I'm fully capable with handling um, it. With with God in my community, with God in my network, with God in whoever, I am fully capable of handling this, right? We don't have to put it all on us, but we can put it on, you know, with God, I am fully capable of handling this, right? So do you see the difference between I can't stand it or I can't handle it to I can, it's not what I would choose, but I can, I'm fully capable of handling it. It's not what I want, but I am fully capable of handling it with God, with, you know, my friends, with my community, with my network. I am, we are fully capable of handling it. And I'm just letting you know that you are not, none of us, none of us were put on earth to fail. None of us were put on earth to fail. And um, we can, we are all fully capable of handling things um, with God, with our communities, with our networks. We can handle anything that life throws at us and we can get through it. We can, okay? So again, I am. I, that was meant to be for yesterday's affirmation on being fully capable, but I forgot to say it and I thought it was worth seeing. Okay, so reminding us for the affirmation for today is I am moving forward with my new wis with my with my greater wisdom. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak it the way I want to tweak it with my greater wisdom, my greater love, and my greater determination. Okay. Anyway, that's the affirmation for today. And then it's Friday, right? Heading into the weekend. I hope you have some majorly good things planned for this weekend. Um, but since it's Friday, um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we talked about the um, emotional aspects of the diffuser blend that we've been diffusing. Friday is when we get to talk about some of the top, not all, but some of the top um, physical benefits for the emotional, for the blend, diffuser blend that we've been diffusing. So just to let you know, we've been diffusing two drops of Arbor Vitae which is the oil of divine grace, reminding us that we don't have to do it all ourselves. Um, two drops of eucalyptus, which is the oil of well, 
wellness, um, oil of breath, super opening, and two drops of Ylang Ylang, which is the oil of the inner child, um, and and is so super good for so many emotional things. Um, if you don't remember or if you haven't watched it, go ahead and check out those videos um, that we've posted in the past. Um, either on our, you can check them out either on this site, which is um, Essential Oils Health Matters, or you can check it out on our YouTube site, which is um, Living the Wholesome Life. So there you go. Here are some of the top physical aspects of Arbor Vitae. The first one is that it is it boosts the immune system. And um, you can definitely rub that on your chest to, um, to um, help with your respiratory system. And um, it's also a super great insecticide. So um, I happen to have, oh, can you give me that study that I just printed right there? So, um, I have a study, and the, my favorite, one of my favorite places to go for studies is aromaticscience.com. And um, here is a study that was published in 2018 from the journal Phytomedicine. And it basically talked about how um, using um, Arbor Vitae on, on head mice. And um, what it found is that it was amazing at making it so that the head lice eggs didn't hatch. Okay, it showed um, anyway, it was amazing at helping them not hatch. So super good on that. Um, Arbor Vitae. Now I'm going to, I love pulling from books, so I'm going to Modern Essentials and um, reading some of the research on Arbor Vitae to you. So one of the things that I found that I love about Arbor Vitae is that it is anti-cancerous. And um, there was a study from 2014 done by Wing and um, it showed that it helped with breast cancer and collateral cancer anyway um it helped with that um it's here's a study done by 2013 that um said that it helped in um in colon cancer um it helped to decrease the tumor size and weight and then here's a study in 2009 which said that it, it um it was super good for using it in human melanoma um, cells. So, anyway, um, am I saying that if you have cancer, the only thing you should use is Arbor Vitae? No, I am definitely not saying that. But all I'm saying is Arbor Vitae can be a very good um, essential oil to use. Now, do you know that so many other times we have talked about um, whether you can use them internally or um topically or just um, aromatically, so just diffusing it, Arbor Vitae is one that you're going to want to use. You're not going to use it internally. Um, again, on doTERRA bottles, you can see whether you can use it internally, internally because it will have a supplement fact. The Arbor Vitae bottle does not have a supplement fact on it. So this is one that you're just going to be using topically and aromatically, not internally. Okay, Arbor Vitae. Um, also, um, it's super antifungal. They found in two different studies, one in 2009 um, by, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Tsai, um, and one in 2011 by Hudson found that um, it was, it was very, it had a lot of antifungal action against Candida albicanis and, um, well, just like four other things that I can't even um, pronounce. So, um, anyway, do your due diligence again, um, but it's very, very good at being antifungal. Now, we have mentioned so many times in the past that citrus oils, while they're super good at uplifting your mood, and our, our baby tea is not a citrus oil. It comes from a tree, okay? So it's going to be a tree oil, um, which means it's going to be grounding emotionally, but going on. Um, but we've mentioned in the past that citrus oils like lemon, grapefruit, 
tangerine um, bergamot. They, you don't want to put them out on your skin and go out in the sun because they can increase your skin sensitivity to burn easier, right? So if you're using those on your skin where the light hits your skin, you are going to want to use them at night only. Okay, but Arbor Vitae is the first oil that I've discovered that is that acts as a sunscreen, right? And what they found in a study in 1998 by Baba, um, that um, it it um it can inhibit ultraviolet light um and skin damage so um you can use it as a sunscreen while you're going outside i love 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 that okay so here's some other info about arbor vitae so um its main properties is that it's antibacterial, anti-cancer, antifungal. We talked about anti-cancer and antifungal. It's an astringent and it's an it's an expectorant. So, um what they say for the top uses is for strep throat, what you're going to want to do, are you going to take it internally? No. This is not one where that you're going to take internally, but you can rub two drops over your throat. Okay? Again, only using it topically, not internally. As a bug repellent, you can dilute with several drops of carrier oil and rub over um, the needed areas. Um, for candida, you can rub two drops over your abdomen and bladder areas several times a day. And for fungal issues, you can um, just apply it just neat, which means you can just drop the oil straight on it with no carrier and, um, and rub it in several times a day. Now, um, essential oils, you want to use them um, often, right? It's not something that you're just going to apply once and boom, your issue is gone. No. With essential oils, you want to be using them um, small amounts and um, often during the day. And um, so um, those are some of the top uses of Arbor Vitae essential oil. Again, I think it's an oil that you're going to want to know and, um, and use. Okay. Eucalyptus essential oil. Oh, when you think eucalyptus, um, I think pure one because I used to have like those eucalyptus leaves that you can you could buy there. Um, but I also think Australia, right? Um, because I know that eucalyptus trees grow there, and I'm sure maybe I don't know all the different places that eucalyptus um grows, but um, it's an amazingly opening oil. Okay, so. And, and we would think, and it is super good for the respiratory system. It can help open your airways if you have asthma. It can help relieve congestion if you have sinusitis, sinusitis bronchitis, colds, or flu. It is one of the best essential oils that can help you bring down a fever. So a lot of people, when their children have fevers or when they have fevers, um, what they'll do is they'll take a drop of peppermint and, and just run it down the child's spine and put it on their feet, right? And then put some socks on. Um, eucalyptus oil, too, is super good at helping to naturally bring down fevers. It can be a strong analgesic, and it can be applied um, alone or as part of a, a blend for muscle aches, headaches, arthritis, or rheumatism. Again, very good anal analgesic. Um, it can help balance blood sugar for both those that have hypoglycemia or so which means low blood sugar or diabetes um, and it can also help get rid of airbound, airborne bacteria and it can be used to cool the body during summer which to me I don't I don't even know how hot Australia is I I should have looked that up before this video but I love it. I know that my um, husband went to the Philippines, my husband and my son, um, went to the Philippines on a trip there, and they were just like, they actually went in the middle of summertime. Anyway, and they were just saying the heat here was just astounding to them. And um, and they're like, what essential oils can we use to cool? And I'm like, I, I don't know, let me do some research. But eucalyptus essential oil, it's a great oil to diffuse and to put on to help cool your body. Anyway, so um, let me go to 
some of the, the studies for eucalyptus essential oil. And um, there are studies from, from 2007 by Lia P, L-I-A-P-I, Lia P. Anyway, they found that it had analgesic properties similar to morphine. Um, a study from 2000, um, again, by Santos, says that it had um, analgesic properties when it was the study was done on mice. Um, there's two studies on, on bronchitis from 1998, and which is Jurgens, and 1997, which is, I'm just going to spell this one for you, S-I-U-R-I-N, Siurin? Anyway, I hope I didn't pronounce your name wrong if you're watching this video. Um, but basically what they found is it's a very good oil to help with when you have bronchitis. Again, we mentioned how opening it is to the airways. Um, and then there's two studies from 2000, which is Santos, and um, 2000, which is by Charles, and that talk about antibacterial properties. Um, and then there's, well, the studies on eucalyptus just go on and on and on. Um, there's a study from 2000 that by um, Grassman that says how it's um, anti-inflammatory. A study from 2001 brought by Schnitzler, which says how it was antiviral. Um, a study from 2002 that says how it can help to lower um, high blood pressure, and that one's by L-A-H-L-O-U. Um, a study by 2010 that says how it can help get rid of lice, um, and that's by CHIO, C-H-O-I, and, um, and then a study from 2008 that says how it has um, a mild antiviral action against the mumps virus. So, eucalyptus. Um, there were over a hundred studies. When I looked it up on aromaticscience.com, there were over a hundred studies on how eucalyptus can help with so many different things. So, going on to some of the top properties of eucalyptus oil. And I'm turning to my advanced oil magic book right now, which is one of my favorite books on how to use them physically. So, it's anti phlogostic Oh my, I think, Caleb, will you please find me my paper over there probably on the floor that, that gives me all my medical terms? Oh, never mind, I have it right here. Hold on. Anti, anti-phlogostic. So, um, there you go. So, anti-phlogostic means that it can reduce a fever. So, eucalyptus, antiphlogostic, we already talked about that. It is antispasmodic, antitussive, which means that it's super good at preventing or relieving a cough. And it's antiviral, and it's a fumigative, fumigative, fuma, hold on. It is a vermifuge, vermifuge, there you go, which means that it destroys parasitic worms. So, super good to take with you if you've been visiting other countries and you feel like you've caught in something that way. Um, so here are some of the top ways that you can use it. If you have a cough or congestion, you can apply two to four drops over the chest. I would, put, I would probably put two to four drops in like a teaspoon of oil and put it over my chest. Um, if you have bronchitis or pneumonia, you can buy, apply two to four drops on your chest or mid back or diffuse. I would diffuse it in both of those cases, and actually they do, do they do say diffuse in both of those cases. Again, I would put two to four drops in like a teaspoon of, um, of coconut oil and um, rub that on. If you have sinusitis, do, um, you can heavily dilute, so I would put like maybe four drops in a tablespoon of co coconut oil or olive oil, and then it said, um, and carefully um, put around your sinuses, avoiding your eyes. So. When I would do that, what I would do is, again, I would put like four drops <coughs> into like a tablespoon of um, 
fractionated coconut oil and I would just dip my finger in, you know, just get a little bit on my finger and then I would put it over my eyes because you never want to get essential oils in your eyes and then I would put it down my nose and then over my cheekbones, okay? So, um, and you can kind of tell how far away from your eyes you want to put it because everybody's eyes are a little bit more sensitive, but that is where it, I would do if I had sinusitis. Again, I would be putting it over and under with just like a little bit of the oil onto my hand that was heavily diluted. Okay, if you have asthma, you can um, until you can put like just two drops on your hand, rub them together, inhale it, right? Or you can diffuse it. Um, you can also put it on your lung reflex reflexology points on your on your feet. Um, if you have menstrual cramps, remember how much we said that um, that um, eucalyptus was a very very good. Um, analgesic, right? And so if you have menstrual cramps, you can put it over your abdomen. And if you have mental fatigue, you can, again, just put one to two drops in your hand and then smell it or um, or diffuse it. I would probably, if I did that, I would probably put it on my shoulders too, just to open it up and get kind of some of that tension out that you sometimes get um, when you have fatigue. So, um, here is a headache relief blend. You can do one drop of eucalyptus, one drop of peppermint, two drops of lavender, and one drop of rosemary. And then just go ahead, um, you can add that to a, um, a bottle with some fractionated coconut oil in, and then just put it wherever you have, um, wherever your head hurts. Okay, going on to the last essential oil, that we are talking about, and that is Ylang Ylang um, essential oil. I just love even just saying the name Ylang Ylang. I think it's a super pretty um, looking word and a, a nice word to say. Anyway, so um, we talked about emotionally how Ylang Ylang was so good, such a relaxing oil, so good at calming the stress down, right? Um, physically, it's also good for your cardiovascular system. It's great for people who have high blood pressure. Um, it is great for to use in, in your endocrine system, which means that it's super good for your skin or your hair. You can add a few drops to your shampoo or your conditioner, and it can help stimulate hair growth, and it can add a beautiful shine and lushness to your hair. Um, Ylang Ylang is super good too at balancing hormones. So for that reason, it's super good to be using for um, PMS sim symptoms or other hormonal issues. And um, as we were talking about how great it was for the cardiovascular system, I didn't want to leave without saying that it's also great to help soothe rapid breathing, heart palpitations, um, and it's also very good to be using for nervous tension, physical and mental exhaustion, and insomnia. So, some of the um, the studies that I found on a Ling Ling were just on how relaxing it was, how um, diffusing a Ling Ling helped people feel more relaxed, or doing a foot massage with a Ling Ling helped people feel relaxed. And then there was um, numerous studies too on how um, Ylang Ylang essential oil can help with um, high blood pressure. So um, that the study on heart high blood pressure and um, comes from 2013 in the Journal of Exercise Rehabilitation, and the study um, a study on 2016 on. Um, from the journal Floss, P-L-O-S-1. Anyway, and it also mentioned, I found a study from 2017 on how it can help with people. It was like a um, neuroprotective oil and how it can help with people who have Parkinson's disease. Again, that um, st study was from 2017. This is one that was published in the journal Pharmaceuticals, and it was done in Basel, Switzerland.
Okay, so um, here are some of the top properties of Ylang Ylang essential oil. It's antidepressant. It is antiphlogostic, which if you're remembering what antiphlogostic means, it means it can help lower the temperature, right? Um, it's antispasmodic, it's a nervine, which means it helps with our nerves. It helps to calm our nervous system down, which is why it's so good for anxiety and depression. And it's a sedative, which I think that most of us would have guessed by now. So top uses of Ylang Ylang essential oil for hormone balance. Um, you can put one to two drops on your wrists or behind your ears. I love how this book, Advanced Oil Magic, tells us how to use these oils. Um, if you have little libido, you can put it on your pulse points, you can diffuse it, you can put it on your reproductive reflexology points. Um, and if you don't know where these rex the lung reflexology point is or your reproductive reflexology points are, there are so many reflexology charts that you can get. Just do a quick Google search and it will come up with one. So. Um, very, don't you love having that information at our fingertips? Um, if you have high blood pressure, you can diffuse um, and you can put two drops on your feet. Um, so I forgot to mention that with eucalyptus oil um, that we just got done talking with, eucalyptus oil and um, arborvita oils are ones that you will do not ingest that you only use um, topically or aromatically, but a Langy Ling essential oil is an oil that we can safely ingest. Um, and I, how do I know that I can ingest it? Well, because the book's telling me that I can, but also because it's super easy because it has a supplement facts on it. It's just gonna be like the, um, supplement facts that you're gonna find on your cereal box. And it's gonna tell you, this is an oil that's safe to ingest. Now, um, what I suggest in ingesting any other, um, ed any essential oil that you can buy, and I would say, no, absolutely not. The only essential oil that I would ever suggest ingesting is doTERRA essential oils, and this is why. Because they third-party test. lemon, you know, lime, whatever the oil is. Um, so you can feel safe. Only if they have the supplement facts on them. Okay. Super easy to tell if you can ingest it or not, but Ylang Ylang is one that you can ingest. And so, um, this book is saying that if you have high blood pressure, that you can put two drops on your feet, or you can take it in a capsule daily um, for infertility. And I know that there are so many people who struggle with infertility. You can massage one to two drops over your abdomen and um, put over your repro reproductive um, reflexology points. For heart palpitations, you can put one to two drops over your heart or diffuse. And um, for oily skin, you can put a drop um, or two into your toner or your facial moisturizer, or you can take internally one to two drops in a capsule daily. So um, those are some of the top uses of Ylang Ylang essential oil. Again, a super calming oil. Here is a migraine. Here's a, a essential oil blend for migraines. It's called the Migraine Buster. And it's, it's two drops of Ylang Ylang three drops of basil, and one drop of marjoram. So you're basically gonna just take that two drops, um, Ylang Ylang, three drops basil, one drop marjoram, and you can just put that in your hand and apply it straight to the back of your neck, to your occipital bones and your temples, um, and you can also use that in a diffuser. So um, when you're using things physically, we definitely want to all do our due diligence. Some of my favorite books to use. Caleb, can you give me that um, OA Life book that's up there, please? Some of my favorite books to use when I'm using things physically is um, this Advanced Oil Magic book, yes, and this book, which is called The Essential Life, 
super good t on telling you about how to use um, things physically. Or I really love this book too, which is called Modern Essentials. And they're also good um, at teaching us how to use essential oils. So um, I hope that we've learned a little bit more today about how to use Arbor Vitae and Eucalyptus and Ylang Ylang um, physically for physical issues. If you want to use them for emotional issues, go ahead and check out those other videos that we've done. And um, so just reminding you, the diffuser blend that we're diffusing this week is two drops of Arbor Vitae. It's going to be a, a grounding oil. Um, two drops of Eucalyptus. It's going to be an opening oil. And two drops of Ylang Ylang. It's going to be a relaxing oil. The, the um, music that we are diffusing, that we're diffusing, the music that we're listening to this entire week is Fountains of Rome, Movement 4 by Atovina Respigi. And the affirmation for today is, I am moving forward. I just love that. I mean, I could just stop it there. I am moving forward. I love it. But um, we, the affirmation that I'm saying for today is, I am moving forward with greater wisdom, with greater love, um, I would even say with a greater network and with greater determination. And um, the affirmation for the whole entire week is, I am good at asking for help on things. I hope that this week we've, we've opened up, we've been a little bit more vulnerable, on asking for help on things and that we keep asking for help if we haven't found the right help yet that we keep asking for help because I know the help is out, out there if we will keep looking keep searching keep asking okay this oh the affirmation that we're gonna be doing all next week is I am proud of me managing me hmm. it'll be an interesting affirmation to talk about this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life, telling us all that I know that between me and you and God, we can make it a great day. Bye-bye.